right so i just did a multi and i pulled a liling bro look at this my liling's r6 <laughs> of all the legendaries that i have r6 i have like one two two summonable r6 legendaries and one of them is liling what the fuck man all right let's try this team out this is a full AP control team except for Pritzker. Pritzker is just here for the stuns and AP, uh, cooldown reduce. But yeah, that's my TA. I made him fast, but his accuracy is quite low. And um, one problem with this team is that if the enemy has zero AP, his S3 is not going to do as well because he steals AP instead of game, gains AP, right? So if there's no AP on the enemy, um, he's not going to gain anything. But yeah, let's see how how this works. This team doesn't have any heals or anything, so if the enemy counter procs, it's kind of in trouble. And um, there's only two buff strippers, as you can see. The Sally didn't get any buff strip, so I'm kind of screwed right here. Unless I can, uh... okay, I think I think I'm still good. So yeah, Lucas is not a good buff stripper. Um, I don't have my tricky build. So I'm using Pritzker, uh, Lucas instead. Maybe I'll change it up a bit um, and try to use a better stripper because Lucas is not it, man. He takes a lot of turns though. He's already done the S3, S2 combo twice, which is pretty insane. <laughs> His damage is kind of lacking, but this team is working pretty well. Even though I, I didn't manage to stun the Sally, I'm still able to fully control this team. Though I think um, Ashley in place of uh, what's it called? Li Ling is going to be better because she provides AP down for all of your allies and she does more damage than him. But you know, if you don't have an Ashley for whatever reason, then you can try using your R6 Li Ling. But yeah, he's doing not too bad. It's doing it's doing pretty well. Let's take a look at this DPS. 300,000. Ooh, not bad. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna try out against a Jin Yu Yao team. But I'm gonna bring a healer so that uh, my units don't die. But yeah, let's take a look. Can this win? I'm, I'm gonna quick battle it actually. Oh, I lost. I think I didn't manage to stun the... Um, what's it called? The Nusi. I might give, give Pritzker one more go. Yeah, I think... Pritzker is going to be way better here. So I'm going to try not running Lucas. Because Lucas is not really doing anything in this team. So instead I'm going to try out running uh, Pritzker. Let's see. Oh nice, not bad. But again, there's a bit of RNG here. Because I think I saw, yeah, wheel runes or light above runes on the Cecilia. But yeah, not bad. We managed to... Oh, he's... His Yunshan is R6, I didn't even notice that. He blocked my uh, attack just now. But yeah, the, the reason why I'm bringing Pritzker this time is because I want to extend the debuffs or this, the cooldown of um, Nusi. So that way, even if she gets out of stun, she doesn't do anything. So yeah, Liling is actually doing pretty good here. He cycles a lot faster because whenever he S3s, he almost gets like an instant turn. So right here, I think he already has his S3. Let's see here. Once... Oh, never mind. Because he S3 when the enemy didn't have any um, AP, he didn't actually gain that much AP. Still though, not bad. Yeah, yeah, I think he already did like a S3, S3, S2 uh, combo three times already, which is pretty insane for DPS to do that. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, one more try. The only difference was Tricky and Genie. The previous team had a Nusi and a Yunshuan. Let's see. Boom. Alright, not bad. Hey, yo. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to showcase like against tanky teams. Because right now, I don't have an R2 Ethan. So going for those type of defense is going to be difficult for me. But again, if you're going up against... Um, those speedy defense, whenever you outspeed, you just instantly win. So it's not really like a fun showcase to watch. You can literally just use like 3 stars uh, DPS and 
pretty much win against like those speedy comps if you go first, right? So yeah, this cycle this team cycles like crazy, man. There's a lot of AP controls with Li Ling, TA, and Sienna. And then I have AP push as well from Clara with uh, Cleanse. And um, yeah, a lot of shit with this team. DPS is okay. Li Ling is the sole DPS, but he does have a pretty strong single target. No, not really. <laughs> it's okay, it's not really that strong, but uh, he cycles a lot better than most DPS, so it makes up for it. Wow, look at that. He just S3 and then S2 once again. I think he already did like 3 sets of S3 and S2. Nice. Hey, not bad, man. Even though my accuracy is not that high on him, I think I only have like 24%. He's doing pretty well. Because the thing is, uh, he triple hits on his S3. So, he's bound to land like some of it, right? So, let's see. Yeah, I only have 24%. And my uh, stats aren't that great. I give him more speed instead of like more DPS stats. Alright, this time let's try him in a cleave comp. I'm not going to use the OP, Changji and Gabriel combo. Yeah, uh, the enemy has pretty decent rezos on their units. Okay, so he's, he should be taking a turn right here. Uh, yeah, I really don't like like running um, non-Gabriel cleave teams now because, because of that. Um, counters are just going to ruin your whole, your whole thing. As you can see, I have like mistrait up on most of my de my, my uh, units, then now I'm dead. So that's why I I like running Gabriel um, in a cleave team because it's just a lot better. You you're protected from all these uh, avatar procs that will you know ruin your day. Ooh, okay, Liling actually what the fuck Liling? <laughs> he did S three twice. He did the combo twice already, which is pretty insane. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I would win that because of all the counter procs, but damn, not bad. Okay, Liling. Obviously, the Gabriel and uh, Changji combo is just going to be better, but he's doing pretty well. Okay, I'm actually going to try this one out. He has an R6 Sally with speed lead, and then this will showcase uh, Liling's. AP uh, absorption so that um, he will sort of counteract Ash Ashley, right? So let's see. Okay, we are sped. Now he absorbs most of them. He almost gains a turn. Uh, okay, now everyone's at the back. I don't know if I have enough damage though. Probably not. Never mind. Oh, I got sped by the Jin Yu Yao. Yeah, me straight up on Liling didn't help much. Now I'm pretty much dead, I think. I don't think I can solo a Jin Yu Yao and Sally with this team. Unless I get really, really lucky. Actually, no, I lied. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, Liling, pop off, Liling! Yo, TA! TA popped off. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's take a look at the damage. Liling. 90k. <laughs> actually, actually 240k. Alright. He has a new C, so if I don't cooldown increase her, then I'm kind of screwed. Alright, not bad. But the enemy doesn't have like a uh, good resonance. A non R2 Junior Yaw doesn't really cycle all that well. And even though if she can uh, S3, and remove all the stuns on the enemy. The enemy will be cooldown increased by Pritzker, so it doesn't really matter. And once the Jin Yao her already has used her S3, um, she's not gonna get it up anytime soon because without R6, she doesn't really do anything past like uh, the first S3. So right here, she's, she's gonna S3, but it doesn't really matter because everyone is cooldown increased. Yeah, the new C didn't do much. Ahmed can't be cooldown increased, but it doesn't really matter. Because the rest of the team is pretty much crippled, right? And uh, TA is just so broken, man, <laughs> right now. She does AP swap, AP steal, AP knockback, and then uh, stuns. 
and my TA is like R0. She's already this OP. At R2, she becomes even more OP. Uh, yeah, I already skilled up my TA because, you know, she deserves it. She's Right now, she's like one of the best PvP units in the game. Surpassing like CJ, surpassing a lot of units, a lot of broken units. And uh, I think she's going to be like one of the best units in RCA as well. Because she has that AP swap, which is going to be massive. She's speed leader. You know, most speed leader in this game is completely garbage when it comes to their kits. Like, for example, uh, Yuhime. She has a really trash um, skill set, but she has that speed lead, which is what carries her. And then Ollie, I've said this multiple times, you don't really see Ollie aside from use, be used as a speed lead. And in the Exodia comp, in the Exodia comp, he's actually really good because um, the Exodia comp revolves around CJ, right? So his uh, single target uh, death prevention is actually really good for that team, but not so much for any other team. All right, we have an R6 across the board team. I'm gonna try out this team using my last ticket, but for now, let's go for this team. I'm gonna try out, uh, let's see, what do I do? I think I will just try this team once again and then we'll see if that if that works. For the last ticket, I'm gonna use... Okay, we lost. Uh, he has an R6 uh, hide, that's probably what happens. That's one reason why I don't like running uh, control comps on auto. It's not reliable because you can't target who you're going for. A lot of things can go wrong. Auto in PvP, you just generally want to use a tanky comp or cleave comp because that one is more consistent. Like for example, if you don't stun the Cecilia, the Cecilia will full cleanse everyone and then you're kind of screwed, right? So, and then if you don't kill the height fast enough, he's going to eat up at your DPS and counter every single time and then you're gonna pretty much lose. So right now, yeah, I lost to a single height because he's already at pretty much 50 stacks and one counter for him is almost enough to kill one of my units. Now two of my units are dead and I'm pretty much screwed right here. Yeah, this team is dead. But yeah, let's, let's go for the other R6 team. This is the first R6 lane I've seen. Oh my god, but this one has an R6 genie Yao as well though. <laughs> This is so cancer, man. What the fuck? You know, you know what? Let me, let me think of a team. Bro, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna give this team a try. It's not gonna work. Uh, but yeah, he's just here to do whatever. And then uh, I have to bring a Tever right here. But this team is pretty crazy. I don't know how, how to deal with it. He has Sally at R6 for the 25% damage reduction. He has Jin Yu Yao at R6 to counter any controls. If you can even control this guy because he has this uh, Lian at R6 which provides 25% miss rate up and uh, along with Sally which cleanses on every turn that the ally takes and then height that cannot be controlled at R6 as well <laughs> and then R6 genie bro I don't even know but let, let's just take a look how, how this team can can maybe work uh, but yeah this the thought process behind this team is Basically, just try to get Tever to solo <laughs> the, the enemy and then I uh, have Yude here to uh, reset Oli if he doesn't... Uh, sorry, not reset Oli, reset Tever if he doesn't manage to land a uh, kill or something. Okay, he managed to one-shot that genie. Nice, okay. Tever. Can Tever solo it though? Come on, Tever, you can do it. Okay, Ollie's passive is proc, so Yude should target Ollie with her S2. Li Ling doesn't really make sense here. I just bring him because this is a Li Ling showcase. <laughs> but, you know, he's already dead, I think. Okay, never mind. Wait, we actually might win, though. What the heck? Although my uh, Tever does not have his S3 up, so I don't know. Maybe not. Uh. I think we got this though. Yeah, Ollie has his passive up, so boom. The only problem with this team is that there's only one cleanser, which is Yude's S3. 
Ooh, okay, okay, we're doing something actually. Can you kill? Boom! We won! No way! <laughs> okay, we won. <laughs> A full R6 team. Damn, bro. What the heck? Alright, not bad. I didn't. I, I don't think Liling did anything in this team though. It was just uh, Oli protecting someone and then uh, Tever doing all the work. Oh yeah, and Tever got uh, updated on his AI, which is, I think it's exactly as I said in one of my comments, which is if he doesn't one shot a unit with the attack buffer, like for example this one, right? Um, Right now, the Lian has the attack buff, or not attack buff, the highest attack, which means he cannot one-shot Lian, so instead he goes for the highest HP, HP plus defense. Um, I'm not sure if he goes for only HP or only defense, if that unit only has one of the other, but that's how he, his, his AI works right now, from what I can tell, is that uh, if he cannot one-shot a unit that has the highest attack he will go for the other alternative so that's an internal um calculation going on with the game i think and then uh yeah it makes this ai a lot better now Liling actually doing a pretty good work right now but yeah that the last one was mostly a tavern showcase but yeah that's about it